If you guys haven't checked out our body armor series, go check it out. It's awesome. We shot these plates with what they were rated for. They all performed exceptionally well. <laughs> but we're not done. What we're gonna do is take these plates and we're gonna put them through the ringer. Just a disclaimer, this is not what these plates are rated for. This is not a fair test. This is absolutely for fun and should not be a representation of what these plates can or can't handle. We're gonna be sending some armor piercing rounds through level three armor. We're just gonna get something through it. This is for fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this next video and let's go. All right guys, so we're shooting the level three prime plate again. Again, the plate has been compromised. So this is just for uh, fun, not for science. Uh, we're gonna shoot two nine mil rounds uh, at about seven yards. The first round is a 124 uh, Hornady critical defense. This is one of the most common nine mil defense rounds and then followed by a 135 plus P, uh, which is a commonly carried law enforcement round. So let's get it. All right, left side's gonna be 124, right side's gonna be uh, 135. Impact here, impact here. No back face deformation. I mean, expected. Took it like a champ. Yeah. How did I do, Dad? What we have here is the CMMG 46. The ammo that we have in here is the Vanguard Extreme Penetrator Round. This is a steel core. It's supposed to be a penetrating round. If you don't know about 46, we're doing a video on 46. You can go to our YouTube channel, check it out. Here's the air impact right here. No back face deformation. Next up, we've got the Prime Level 3 body armor. The plate has already been compromised. It's been hit with 44 magnets, hit with 46, been hit with critical defense 9 millimeter. We're gonna see what a little green tip will do to this thing. Impact right here, right above our 4.6 round. This is 44 Magnum, 5.56, five, all super close. Oh yeah, <laughs> it broke through. We, we, hit, we hit right inside of the crater of the 44 Magnum, um, and uh, I 100% expected this. What do you say we uh, shoot it with a scar? Yeah, man, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm gonna shoot off to the left side. Yeah, right uh, up here would be good. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll we'll aim for right up there. Yeah. Oh, it didn't penetrate. That is amazing. Dude, oh my God. that is crazy. So we got we got 44 Magnum here, right above the 44 Magnum. We just hit it with an FMJ 308 from a Scar H. Back face dew formation, did not penetrate. I say, let's just hit it with an armor piercing 30-06 to make sure that this thing stays in the ground. Let's get it. All right, here we go. There we go. Impact here. Came completely out the other side into the back. Oh, through the wood? No, we didn't go no. through the wood. Oh, here it is. It grazed right here. Oh, yeah. So it actually grazed the side of this thing. Gotcha. Went through and uh, that's it. All right, this is a level three plate by RMA. We hit it with a 44 Magnum in a previous YouTube video. This plate is absolutely compromised. Um, in it, this should not be considered a scientific test, test by any stretch of the word. What we're gonna do is hit it with some nine millimeter, see how it holds up. All right guys, we're gonna shoot this with some nine millimeter. First round that's already in the gun is a 124 grain uh, Hornady critical defense, really common defense round. 
And then the uh, second round is going to be 135 grain plus P uh, from Hornady, a uh, very common law enforcement round. Uh, I'm going to go left side, right side. One and two. One and two. So that's actually pretty close to that uh, 44 Magnum hole. Let's yeah. see if it went through. Nope, didn't go through. A little bit of back face deformation on there. Uh, not surprising considering it's right next to an entire crater. Um, but we're not done with this thing. We're gonna finish it off. Let's hit it with some four six from uh, Vanguard Outfitters, uh, some green tip, and of course the scar in 308. This is the CMMG 46 Banshee, and this is some extreme penetrator rounds from Vanguard Outfitters. Uh, you can go to vanguardoutfitters.com. Thank you guys so much for this ammo. Let's see if it does any damage to this already compromised level three plate. There we go. Go check it out. We've got impact right here, right below our nine millimeter shot. Uh, I can't tell if it's back face deformation because I hit right over the nine millimeter but it didn't go through, so we gotta keep going. Green tip, five, five, six. Let's go see. I hit, I hit up here, here's the impact. Woo, -hoo. oh buddy. Blue, big old, big old bulge out there. Yeah. Um, oh wait, actually, did it go through? That wasn't there before. Yeah, there you it go. did go through, wow. It went right through, right through the poo, noodle, pool poo noodle. <laughs> right through the puddle <laughs> right through the right through the, the pool, pool. <laughs> yep all right guys so the last round that we shot out of this was a uh, m855 a1 now not a1 god just you. green tip i'll just read you all right guys so the last round that we shot at this plate was a uh, m855 green tip and it did penetrate but again the plate's already heavily compromised it held up uh, for stopping the rounds that it's rated for. We're just out here to have a little bit of fun. So even though it's already been uh, compromised and we've already got penetration, we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with a little bit of uh, FMJ 308 out of the uh, SCAR. All right. So, um, dude, it didn't penetrate. Yeah, I was trying to pick a side of the plate that hadn't been compromised. So, impact here, and it did not penetrate. Very, very surprisingly enough. Well, you know what that means. We got to throw some yeah. AP out of it. 30 out 6? Yeah. All right, armor piercing 30 out 6. The, the Sean has spoken. This is an armor piercing 30 out 6. This plate is way compromised. There's absolutely no way that this will not stop this arm piercing 30 out six, but we can't say it's not for a lack of trying. So here we go. This one's for the meme. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, it blew. It. Oh yeah. It blew clean through the back. Wow, that's a crazy round, dude. Yeah, right here. Here's our impact right here. Blew completely through it. You can still see some smoke coming out of that hole. Blew out the back, blew through the wood. I expect nothing less from armor piercing 30-06. So this is our level four armor plate. We just nailed it with a armor piercing 30-06. This thing has a giant crater in it. This absolutely will not last, but we're gonna do it anyways. So there you go, that's impact one, that's impact two. Look, this is the rubber from the tip of that, and that it's round. It's actually starting to catch some of the frag of the round right there as Yeah, well. so this, yep. this didn't make it through at all, which level four armor already compromised. Obviously it has a massive crater. That's from an armor piercing 30 out six. To be expected, let's hit it with the four six. A little low here. There you can see some of the frag of the jacket there. I don't know what happened. There's like all these little holes. It looks like we, it didn't go through, um, but I honestly have no idea what just happened. It, it like hit here and just, yeah, <laughs> bounce all around. Oh well, didn't make it through. We're still good on this. Uh, we're gonna send it with a, um, we're gonna go green tip 556 five, through an AR-15. It's not a A1, it's just normal green tip. And here we go. 
I know I hit a little left, um, probably like right here. Um, let's see what happened. Uh, yeah, no deformation, no oh, nothing. Wow. I, I sunk it almost inside of the armor piercing crater. Uh, that is actually pretty awesome. What do you say we hit it with a scar? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, huge, huge impact here. We've got, let's cut this open a little bit. There it is. That thing got absolutely obliterated. That is awesome. Um, you can look back in there. You can actually see bits of the jacket in here, um, right here. Wow, that thing got obliterated. Let's see if it went through the back. For reference, this is just standard metal jacket. Uh, for your this is an AP. Yeah, it's not AP. Back face deformation. Expected after a massive crater and basically no structural integrity in this plate at all What do you say we check out this HESCO L210 and see what it's really capable of HESCO L210 This is the HESCO L210 plate. This has been shot with a uh, M855 A1 uh, Round which is what it's rated for special threat um, a little bit more than your standard 5.56 or 7.62 um, And it held up fantastically just a reminder that this plate is already compromised. This is in no way scientific at all. This is already for fun. You guys can go back, you can watch our body armor series. We actually hit it, it held up to the test wonderfully. But we want to make sure that we bury these plates today. So let's go get it. Impact here and here, obviously. Um, I can already tell this did not go through. Um, it made a little crack in it, a little dent, to be expected. Uh, zero back face deformation. Um, that's pretty good. The plate is way compromised. Let's hit it with some 4.6. Let's see if it actually made it through the plate. It absolutely did not. No back face deformation at all. This plate is very thin and um, this keeps, keeps surprising me. So um, let's see if we can do a little bit more damage with some bigger stuff. What we've got here is some green tip ammo um this is rated for this but the plate is compromised so if it gets through um, it wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't get through and it actually stops it after being shot with multiple nine millimeters an armor piercing or a, pe a true penetrating 46 and a m855a1 i will actually be pretty impressed so let's uh see, we'll see see how it goes so uh, impact right here, right above our 4.6 round. Let's see what it looks like on the back. A little bit of back face deformation, nothing too big. Kind of surprising to, just because I, this plate is probably just shattered all up in here. Um, made a pretty big crater. Stop it though, it would have saved your life after taking this round. Um, We're not done with this thing though. Let's hit it with the scar. All right, this is just standard uh, 308 FMJ. We're shooting it out of the uh, old faithful Ugg boot. All right, we got edge impact here on the HESCO L210 with a 308 at seven yards about let's see this thing i i would be surprised if this didn't get through yeah there it goes blew right through all right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to shoot this with some nine again uh first round that we're going to shoot on the left is going to be 124 grain horned the critical defense a uh, really common defense round and then on the right side we're going to shoot it with some 135 plus p very common law enforcement round so it's pretty incredible that's the second impact right there and it started to blow out. Oh yeah, it did. Now granted, this ret plate is so compromised, it's not even funny. We've already sent an armor piercing 30-06 at it, which it stopped flawlessly like it should. Um, but we um, we got some jacket here. Obviously nothing got through it, even though it did start to blow out a little bit. It's just a little crunchy. It's not crunch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send some 4-6 at it and let's see if we can get something else to go through this thing. Here we go. Let's go check it out. 
what this keeps happening I don't know what's going on with this but it keeps like heavily heavily frag fragmenting over here I don't know if it's impacting and blowing out um, but no uh, no back face deformation um, but this is very strange to me I don't know what's going on there so yeah so okay yeah so here's our steel core right here and all that fragment is bounce is spreading in and bouncing out of the back of the plate. It's definitely stopping it. Um, it's definitely stopping it. But that jacket is just shattering, um, and you can see the steel core. And uh, yeah, that's that's very interesting. And also, it looks like we hit. You can see a crack going through here. It looks like we hit a crack right inside of a crack. So. Um, that's really interesting and actually it brings up a good point on why armor is compromised after you already hit it once Once you hit the strike phase once it sends spiderweb cracking through the entire thing And if a bullet finds its way right inside one of those cracks you lose all integrity of the plate and um, yeah It can cause a um, it can cause problems. So we're gonna send some green tip through this thing We're gonna send some scar ammo and if that doesn't do the trick we're back to the armor piercing 30 out six, so let's get it done. Some green tip, 5.56, five, firing at a low, heavily compromised level four by prime, um, and we'll see what happens. It actually shattered the rest out, blew out the bottom. Looks like it took a chunk of wood out with it here. Back, back's fine. <laughs> stopped it. Yeah, it stopped it. Um, yeah, you actually see the fragmentation inside of here. Um, this thing is, this thing's hurt. Uh, I will fully expect the 308 to completely demolish the rest of this thing. So, again, heavily compromised. This plate, if it was not compromised, I would have full, full confidence that it's going to stop that 308. But in the state it's in right now, I highly doubt it. But let's find out. All right, guys, last one for the day. This is just Full Metal Jacket 308, kind of the uh, FN scar. Again, this is a level four plate from Prime. It's already pretty heavily compromised. We hit it with a um, AP 30-06 earlier, and then we've just been uh, tooling on it uh, for the last few minutes. So let's see if we can get some penetration here. The only part of that plate that looks clean to me is kind of top middle, so we'll see. <laughs> to end the day. Dude, that was absolutely insane. Oh my god. So it actually blew the entire top half of the plate out. This is, that's one of the craziest shots that we've seen all day long. Keep in mind, guys, this thing has already taken multiple 9mm self defense rounds. It's taken an armor piercing 30 odd six. It's taken four armor piercing 4.6, it's taken um, uh, green tip, it took green tip too. And the last straw that this thing had was this poor, unfortunate 308 hurling at it very quickly and completely demolished it. I, I am impressed by this plate, but man, that was awesome. Hey, take a minute to check this guy out. No eye, bro. No ear pro. Plays the boat just hanging out on the target. Look at this. Like we didn't just, this. like we didn't just up the litter right there. Yeah. Look at him. He's like, man, I got a headache. Well, you know they say ladybugs are lucky, right? That plate did its job. <laughs> yeah. He's fine. You'll be fine. I'm curious though. Do we have penetration back here? No. no. What happened is you shot the top of this and there was no structural. I think my actual impact though is right here. Yeah. And if we look at the pool noodle, yeah. So did it? So it impacted. It actually skipped right over the top. Yeah. And around deviated up over the berm. Yeah. So yeah, that's the initial uh, impact. And then again, that just deflected the round up. Yep. Went through the pool noodle in two spots there. Came out the back here, up over the top of the uh, support. That's it. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, that was uh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it's fine. That was fun. Yeah.